Hey, subscribe to this channel. You know why? Because I take like classical recipes that we love and I adapt them. I change them a little bit to make them a little healthy, to make them a little more vegan or at least vegetarian, like today's recipe. We're doing pork buns. I love pork buns. Like if you're going to a party and you bring pork buns, people are going to love you and they're going to invite you to more parties. And that's the whole idea of life is to get invited to parties. Listen, that's the goal of life is to get invited to parties. I love it. And I love when I make a dish for a party and then people are like, oh my God, this is so delicious. How did you make this? Who made this? This is wonderful. That's great. And I say, that's me. I made it. I made it right here. I'm not too humble to say that. Okay, anyway. So, I love this. I love this dish. It's rich. It's delicious. It's sweet. It reminds you of everything that is pork buns, except we're going to use black beans instead of pork. Make it healthier. We're also going to substitute whole wheat flour for white flour in the dough. That's fantastic. So, let's get cooking immediately. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is the dough. It's a yeast dough, so it's going to take, like I'm going to make it, I'm going to throw it in the refrigerator overnight. So let's get started with that. This is a very special kind of dough. It's called a milk dough. We're going to make some adjustments. Instead of using milk, we're going to use oat milk. One and two thirds cup of oat milk. There you go. One egg. Two tablespoons of oil. One third cup of honey. And one tablespoon of yeast. Gonna mix this all together. Let that yeast get dissolved a little bit. I'm going to add four cups of flour. And the flour I'm using today is a whole wheat flour. Listen, I'm using King Arthur. That's a really good flour, good quality flour. And it's nice and whole wheat. So I'm going to need four cups, but here's what I'm doing. I'm going to add one cup of flour. Then I'm going to add my salt. I don't want to add my salt directly to the yeast because it might kill the yeast. So I need one and a half teaspoons of salt. It's about one and a half teaspoon right there. And then I'm going to whisk it all together. So the yeast can start feeding off the flour. Okay. Now I have to add three more cups of flour, but I don't add three more cups. I'm going to add two more cups of flour. One. Two. Hey, I'm supposed to add a total of four cups of flour, but I've only added three. I'll tell you, wh I'll tell you why that's really smart. It's easier to add more flour as I go along than it is to take flour out. Can't take flour out once you add it, so it's easier to add it as I go along. So I add a little less flour, and as I need more flour, I'll add more. So I need four cups of flour, approximately. So I add three, and then I add the extra cup as I'm starting to knead it. Very smart. Now what I want to do is put down some flour on the table, just like that. Ooh, look at that, that's nice. And now I'm going to put all my dough on that flour. I'm going to start kneading it. Yeah, put some more flour on top like that. Beautiful. Okay, you see how I do that? I take this end here and fold it over and push it down. See that? Just keep folding it over, push it down. Fold it over, push it down.
Okay, nice and smooth. You push your finger in, the dough comes back. That means it's ready. Okay, I make a nice ball out of it. I roll it up like that. It's beautiful. All right, here's my trick. I take a bag like that. And I put some oil, about a tablespoon of oil in the bag. Rub it around a little bit. I take my ball of dough, I put it right in the bag. Move that ball around a little bit in the bag so it gets coated with the oil. Okay, then I bring the bag around the dough. I pull all the way up on the end like that. So you have all that space there for the dough to grow. Then I tie a knot just in the end like that. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Nice trick. Now the dough has all this, the dough has all this room to grow, right? To rise. Beautiful. Put this aside. Hey, I'm in the middle of making uh, an Amazon store. For all the stuff I use here, like uh, for all the tools and for some of the spices and ingredients. So the store is Chef Dan's Kitchen Supply. And it's at Amazon. And I'll see you there. I'm gonna make the filling now for the buns. Put the filling aside, put the dough of, for the buns aside, and when that dough has risen beautifully, then I can shape the buns and bake them. So I'm gonna make the filling for the dough, I'm gonna have the dough made, and later on I'll put it together. So that's why I wanna show you this. Fantastic! Listen, I've been a chef for like 30 years. I can use a knife and use really, but even I use this because it's really fast and really easy. I just love it. You may too. And I'll leave the link for my store, Chef Dan's Kitchen Supplies, in the description below. Okay, let me show you how this works. I need one onion. So what I'm going to do is cut the ends off, cut the onion in half, and I got to clean it. This is why I love this machine. Watch this. I put the onion inside. Bang. It's chopped. It's how, how fast is that? You want to see it again? Bang. It's done. That's wonderful. Okay, so. My wok is nice and hot. I put maybe a teaspoon of oil in there, swirl it around. If you use cold oil in a hot wok, it's going to act as like, uh, it's going to make it non-stick. Beautiful. I'm going to add that onion. Hey, you can hear that sizzle. That's good. While the onions are cooked, I'm going to take two cans of black beans. I throw them into a big bowl. I don't want them smooth, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash them, but not all the way smooth. I'm going to use my potato masher. That's wonderful. Okay, so black beans are a little bit pureed or smashed, but also a little bit chunky. Perfect. And now these onions, they're nice and cooked. They got a little bit of brown color. And we have four cloves of chopped garlic, nice and chopped. Then we shut the fire off. Ooh, that's beautiful. Hey, remember those black beans? I'm gonna add them right now. Look at that. Oh boy, that's good. I gotta add a quarter cup of soy sauce. Three tablespoons of honey.
I'm also adding three tablespoons of brown sugar. Three tablespoons of ketchup. Heinz, it's upside down, but you see Heinz ketchup. Three tablespoons. One tablespoon of hoisin sauce. One tablespoon hoisin. And I have here five spice. I'm going to use one half teaspoon of five spice. Okay? That's it. Okay, now we can put the fire back on. I just didn't want to burn it. And cook this down a little bit. Now, the last thing we're going to do is we have to adjust the consistency. Okay, it's a little too thin. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a quarter cup of oatmeal. I like adding oatmeal to this because it's going to keep it like a little bit chewy. And that's good. That's kind of the consistency I want. I don't want it to be so hard and you have to bite into it. I want it to be a little chewy. So I add a quarter cup of oatmeal. Let it cook a few minutes. Let the oatmeal thicken it. Okay, I got my filling. Smells delicious. Tastes wonderful. Okay, I got my bread dough. Wonderful, rich, sweet, fantastic. This is gonna be a beautiful pork bun. And it's gonna be vegetarian. I got a little egg in the in the dough, so it's gonna be vegetarian. Wonderful. So we're gonna finish this later. We're gonna finish this tomorrow. I'm gonna to put the dough in the refrigerator to rise overnight. I'm gonna cool this down in the refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow, I'm gonna to make it. Listen, this is not a difficult recipe. It just takes two days because I'm just trying to do it easy, okay? So don't worry about it. Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm ready to do some baking. Cut into four pieces and then cut each piece into four pieces. That gives us 16 nice pieces. We get the, we get the sheet pan and spray it just lightly with oil so nothing sticks. nice round disc, about five, six inches around, quarter cup of filling, bring all the edges together, and give it a good pinch, pinch it really tight, tight, pinch it tight, okay. Roll around, roll around your hands a little bit like that, and you got a nice bun. There you go. Okay, they look beautiful. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna cover it with a little plastic wrap and let it sit until it's like almost double in size. Could take about 40 minutes or so, maybe even an hour. When they're nice and risen a little bit, I'm gonna brush them with egg wash and put them in a 375 degree oven. Gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes. Depends on how hot your oven is. Okay, so these have risen. Pretty good. They've been sitting for about 45 minutes. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna brush them with egg wash. This is just one, this is just one egg and about a tablespoon of water, that's all. Give them a nice light brush. That's going to make them nice and brown on top, a little shiny. Okay, I'm putting these in the oven. I'm going to check them after 20 minutes. I'll see you. I'll see you in 20 minutes. I have the morning news going, cup of coffee, and now I have these pork buns coming out of the oven. Gonna be a great breakfast. Gonna be a great day. You can have them for breakfast. You can have them for lunch. You can have them as part of your dinner. Ooh, they 
been in there 20 minutes. You hear that buzzer going off? That's 20 minutes. They look beautiful. Hey, if you like the way these look, you gotta try my lentil. Lentil turnovers is savory and delicious. Check out that video and I'll see you there.